Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one Red Salana time, back with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Probably a couple of gray hairs since last Wednesday, but... Dude, we you. talk every week, and it feels like we haven't talked in a year. The mortgage market <laughs> has been all over the place. Last week, I'm looking at mortgage rates. I'm getting notes from viewers and followers. Dude, I got 4.99, 4.97. Rates are crashing. I'm like, oh, my God, you know... The, the, we have people talking about rates at 9%. Now we're sub five again. What the hell is going on? And then Monday comes and rates go up and today they look like going up a little bit. So I don't know how you do it, dude. Yeah. The mortgages are not supposed to move this much. What is going uh, exactly. on? Exactly. And it's like the first thing to be said is it's, it's as true as ever. If you like it, lock it, please. Rates, yes. rates are volatile this year. Like, we just don't know what's going to happen. This year, today, <laughs> <Yeah>. today, <laughs> yeah. this week, this month. Right. And, you know, so the Fed is talking, they're, they're looking at reports, they're, 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 you know, changing their tone on a day to day basis. And this is the stuff that that affects mortgage rates and mortgage backed securities. Um, and just for some context, kind of, you know, yeah. rough numbers. Before the Fed meeting, we had a 30 year fixed in the mid fives yeah. for, for well qualified buyer. So we'll call it five and a half. Okay. Fed meeting happens. We try to educate people that 75 basis point hike for the Fed doesn't mean anything for interest rates. We already knew it was coming. We're going yeah, to listen we did, to what yep. they say. We did that. Check out your playlist. Yeah, we right. had that. We had that yeah. talk. And uh, and and they, you know, through what they said, had a very positive impact on interest rates. Thursday and Friday of last week, that 30 year fixed got dragged down to probably 4.875, which is a humongous Humongous. I, I, I want to say that again because you and I had a talk. It's in your playlist. People can go watch it. Where we basically said we both said that there's very likely you're going to go 75. They did. Then we had a conversation that I was hopeful that they would be a big fat hawk. And Jerome Powell said, We're at neutral. We're going to slow down. And that's what the market wanted to hear. And not only did 30 year mortgage rates not go up 75 basis points, they damn near fell 75 basis points. That is that is wild. Right, right. And so Thursday and Friday, great days. Uh, a lot a lot of folks, you like it, lock it, you get in there. And the funny part is talking about how quick the market is moving. I can't make the videos fast enough and then get <laughs> edited and pumped. I made a video last Friday that just got published. You know, go check out Matt the Mortgage Guy on YouTube if, if you have it. Um, on Tuesday, and I was talking in past tense because I knew it was going to come out to the next week. But everything I said about how rates were coming down, on Tuesday, the opposite happened, right? Yeah, Literally yeah. gave up all the gains. And I was trying to read, I was trying to figure out, um, I don't know if it was unemployment numbers, or I don't know what it, what it was that was discussed on yeah. Tuesday, yesterday that had such- Well, basically negative... we had four Fed presidents try to walk back Jerome Powell's were at neutral. Mary Daly from San Francisco said, we've got a lot of work to do, um, Bullard, said we have to go to 4% Fed funds by the end of the year. Think about that, four, you know, 4% by the end of the year. And then Christopher Waller uh, said, yeah, 50 basis points in September is likely, but 75 is not out of, the, out of the question. So basically, people are trying to reverse Powell being a dove with some more hawkish comments. That's what happened. Right, right. And so, yeah, I think I think last week, his comments were like, Oh yeah, we're pretty much done here. I think yeah. we got things under control. And you know, the market liked it. And then it was like, no, bro, like no. There, there's more work to do 50, 75. And so um, you're, you're right. It had basic, like I was trying to price it this morning and we're probably better today than we were last week. We're probably yeah, near, slightly better. Yeah. Near five and a quarter on a 30 year fixed and um, but not four and seven eights. <laughs> right. Right. Which, which was this brief moment in time where if you like it, you lock it, you see it. Um, and, and so we, we got to be careful. And mm -hmm. I think that, that going forward, yeah. anybody who's looking to buy you, you, if you're an investor or you're an owner, like you want to have a little bit of flexibility, say, mm -hmm. you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to look at what it looks like with a five and a quarter and a five and a half. What you can always do, truth be told, is things change by a quarter and you say, okay, I'm going to pay $2,800, $3,200 to get that quarter back in interest rate. And, and truth be told, that's what people are doing. Mm -hmm. um, they get into contracts. Um, they're getting seller concessions. Like, 
Yeah, per, we keep pert near three fourths of deals are, have seller concessions, and awesome. so it should, shouldn't be something to be super afraid of. Yeah, but, shoot, get the seller to pay the thirty two hundred. Right, Thing, things are moving quick, so now more than ever, when when I have somebody who was pre approved in May and they're like, "Hey, I'm just you know circling back. Are are rates any different?" Um, <laughs> they, change, they, they change every day. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> every single day. Some some people that were pre approved early June get the good news that they're lower than they were you know, mid June. Yeah. It's pretty wild. I mean, I did a video. The good news about my videos is they're not edited. So when I record them, I post them the same day, right? We did a video where the average mortgage rate in the middle of June was 6%. And last, I think it was Thursday or Friday, they were sub five. Right. That's a, right. That's a point. Right. And that's wild. like, you know, for anybody who I, I always point them to mortgage news daily, cause they're not trying to sell you anything. You can just yeah. look at a chart and it was mid June 6.28 oh, was, wow. was, was the high. Okay. And I don't know if it got sub 5% because it's an average. Yeah, and maybe so, not, yeah, you know, there were, there's, there were loans done sub five. Oh, a hundred percent. And, th- and, yeah. and, you know, besides all the other stuff, I think we talked about it last week, the spread between lenders is bigger than it's ever seen. I've yeah. got, you know, direct lenders and some banks that probably are a full percent higher yeah, than what this is. This is the world. mortgage market getting scary getting nervous, right? They're tightening up, they're raising rates. They don't want to say yes to everybody. They're being super conservative. Well, let's do the audience a favor. Let's price out some stuff for owner, OCK and investors today as of 10 a.m. on August 3rd, subject to change in the next five minutes. Right. These and and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give you APR. I'm not going to give you an exact rate. I'm going to give you an idea of it. Um, yeah. And I'm going to keep it gray enough to keep myself protected. Not there an offer go. to lend NMLS number 1088993, uh, but but giving you a rough idea. I don't I don't see any harm in that. So um, yeah, let's, what, what do you want to do? You want to do owner rock? Yeah, let's do owner rock. Yeah, owner rock and investor. Yep. Yeah. Um, a lot of the buyers I work with are putting between three and 10% down. So <clears throat> I'll price a 5% down. Sure. Four hundred thousand dollar purchase price. Okay, you know, this is like a first time home buyer. Yeah, twenty. So that's twenty k. Yeah, that that. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, and if you've got great credit, you can expect. Defi- so hold on, defined as seven sixteen above eighty. Yeah, seven forty, seven sixty. Okay, there's, so there's not a ton of wiggle between once you get above seven forty. You're okay. You're so seven forty, great credit. Okay. And um, you know, another thing to think about if you're a buyer is is, is your mortgage insurance is going to vary between companies. Some mm. people don't know that. It's probably good to mention that. Like, you know, you talk to a broker who's got five and a quarter at no cost and sixty dollars in mortgage insurance. If you didn't know any better, you'd be like, "Well, my realtor got this guy in their office, and he's giving me a five point nine nine and ninety seven dollars a month in mortgage insurance. Yeah. Seems seems close. Seems good. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it's, real money. It's, it's really that far off, Mike. It's it's wild, but. Mm. Uh, I'll, I'll try to be less salesy and just give you some good information here. Um, but they should go to greatmortgagebroker.com mm-hmm. if they want to get pre-approved and start rolling. So um, if 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 you're this first-time home buyer, $400,000 purchase price, good credit, 5% down, you can expect, if you're not trying to pay any points, to get something in the low fives, five and a quarter-ish. Okay. All right. uh, for those who are looking to utilize some credit from the seller or buy down the rate themselves, um, you know, for a point, you can get down four, eight ish. So just so everybody knows what a point is in this example, that's four grand, correct? Exactly. Yeah. One, one, one point is 1% of the purchase price. If you're buying for 400, mm-hmm. that equals 4,000. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is a function of the purchase price. Some people like, correct. is one point three thousand dollars is one point four thousand dollars I'm telling you one point is 1% of the purchase price. So if it's a million dollar purchase price, it's 10 grand, um, or I'm sorry, loan amount is what I should no. say. It's probably one percent of the loan amount. So so thirty eight hundred would be one point on this three hundred eighty thousand dollar loan. Got it. Um, okay. If you're feeling really frisky or had a seller that really wanted to sell you the property, you could pay a couple points. You can get it in the mid four, so you can get down to four and a half. See, that's the key, right? Again, folks, this is what I'm telling you on this channel. This is time to take advantage of your position as a buyer. Get closing costs and get them to buy down the rate. Most mortgage brokers will get let you have up to three percent seller credit. So in this example, three times four hundred is twelve grand. Use that how you want. What I would use is two percent on buying down the rate to four and a half. Wouldn't that be awesome? And then use the rest as closing cost credits. Go get your money. Right, right. And um, I personally believe everybody's different. 
sure. that if you're going to buy down the rate, buy it down permanently. These two one buy downs. Oh, no. Are just, it's it, it really sets you up for failure, in my personal opinion, because you get used to a payment that's yeah. 2200 and the next year it goes to 26 and then the third year it goes to, no. to 3000 I've learned from 08, folks. We don't do that. That's just another step in payments, blah, blah, blah. Don't do it. 30-year fix. It's all we talked about on this channel. All right. I like so, arms. I like arms in some scenarios, but yeah, that's that's a mortgage broker talking. <laughs> I as an investor, I hate them. If you're an owner rock with a jumbo loan and you have some liquidity of it in the future, go nuts. Man. I'm not talking. I'm not talking to you. Okay. <laughs> the the ten six arms they're fixed for ten years, Mike. Nobody's gonna be in that loan for ten years, but we'll, we'll agree. All right. What? Well, all right. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind disagreeing. So, what's the rate on a ten year arm? Um, you know what? I don't have it priced up, but is it better? It's in the fours, sure. and 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 really, I'm I'm really only reviewing these scenarios on the jumbo stuff because it's a big enough spread. Yeah, yeah. On these um, conforming loans, no, their spread's where, not there. Where where the spread is an eighth, yeah, I'm not, not. going to have somebody get into it a yeah. ten year arm. jumbo only. I will give you that that is possible. Yes. Okay, cool. Correct. See, see, we, I knew I'd we agree at jumbo, side. but but most of the people like this example is 400k. This is a traditional loan. That's the spread's not there. I've actually saw some arms that are even with 30 year money. I'm like, who the hell would sign up for that? Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, the, the crazy part is, is, is all price some stuff and it'll be higher. Yeah. Um, actually, Which I didn't on, think it was possible on this specific one. I said five and a quarter. Yeah. It's more expensive for a 10 year arm. Yeah. Why this. would you do that? You would not yeah. do that. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. I just want to gamble a little bit. I want to feel, I want to, well, it's just silly. All right. So now let's flip the script. we got a lot of investors today. Let's assume I'm a first time investor buying my, uh, I don't know, buying a 400K fourplex or 400K duplex. You're going to put more down. Let's be clear. You're not going to get a 5% loan investor. Let's assume 20, 25%, something like that. Yeah. I, I, I put in 400,000 with 25% down. Perfect. <clears throat> single family. It'll okay. change a little bit if it's, you know, two, Units. three, four unit. Yeah. But, um, you know, again, assuming great credit mm -hmm. and, you could put 20% down on a single family. Most investors I talk to. Yeah, let's to, do 25. Let's be, yeah. Yeah. Well, and and so investors know it's it's a lot better in price. You yeah, know, you'll get a better. quarter better in rate and one point less in cost, yeah. where for most people. That's much better, yeah. It, it It's a pretty short break, even where you just want to, you know, the extra 5%, you're like, ah, oh, man, I don't know if I want to uh, spend an extra 20 grand. You do. Um, you do, yeah. It's, it, it's a better looking deal, especially, you know, if you're like me, you just want to set it and forget it and not mm -hmm. have to, uh, um, okay, this, man, this rate sheet is pretty dang flat to get it to where we're not paying any points. We're going to be like mid sixes. Okay. But then the rate sheet is flat enough to where we could get all the way down to like five, nine, nine for a point. Okay. Again, same deal. You're a buyer today. You have the power. You have up to 3% seller credits. Go get a point down. Go get closing cost credits. All of, I've done, I turned a 2% yield into a 6% yield with closing cost rate and a small price reduction. It's, yeah. And, and here's the cool thing. We're talking a $400,000 purchase, 25% down. So your loan amount is 300,000. Mm -hmm. When you get a 3% of the, of the purchase price seller credit, yeah. you're getting 12,000. So now you've got 12,000. Yeah. You can spend half of that yeah. which is 6,000, which equals two points, which yep. is 2% of this $300,000 loan amount. Those two points, Mike, would get you down on this one to like five, three, seven, five. Folks, this is why you have to work with a professional. Get the credit, get the seller to agree to 3%. Then reach out to Matt, the mortgage guy, at uh, to really see what's best for you. Because maybe it's closing costs, maybe it's rate buy down. I'm going to guess it's both. You can do 3%. Get it. And Matt, right. how do you want people to reach out? And close Go the to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out the form. I just want to give you some quick math too, because let's say in this scenario, you know, you agree, you, you'd rather pay 400 with 12,000 in credit than 388 without any credit. And I'll show you why. Oh, absolutely. As an investor, you're going to get $6,000 off of your closing costs paid for. And then the other 6,000 in credit that you have that you use to buy down the rate. If you go from six and a half, to five three seven five, the principal and interest. We're not talking tax and insurance. Goes from eighteen ninety six to sixteen seventy nine. It's two hundred bucks a month. Yeah, two hundred forever. <laughs> Eighteen dollars a month, twenty five hundred dollars 
a year forever. And, you know, people, different investors are different. Mm -hmm. I really like set it and forget it 30 year fixed. Yeah. All you do is, is get more efficient rents go up, you know, yeah. your, your costs stay the same or go down. So, um, yeah, that's, yeah. that's a little exercise in what yeah. we're looking at today rate wise. Yeah. Homeowners and investors, your time has come. The market is slowing down. If you are not getting 3% seller credits and then working with a mortgage professional to figure out how to use it best, you are missing out. Don't pay list price. Don't uh, ask for a 3% credit. You just have to. And again, one more time, how can people find you and where do they, where should they go? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. And one note on that, Mike, um, some people might say like, oh no, there's no way I can get that in my market. I'm seeing it in almost every deal, seller every credits. Deal. I'm seeing it so much, Mike, that now we're having to negotiate, hey, the seller's going to give me 15 grand. And I say, well, based on the purchase price, the max they can give you is 11750 So here's what we got to do. 11750 in seller credit and reduce the price by 3250 Because, yeah. you know, they're, they're willing to give that to you. We got to lower the purchase price and, and, and the full percent. Yeah, uh, this is why you got to work with a professional. This is your time. You have the negotiation power. Use it to your fullest. Leaving money on the table like this is not the time. Go get a better rate, lower down um, or lower closing costs, rate buy downs, price. You got to work with the professional. Matt, the mortgage guy is the guy I'd go to. Greatmortgagebroker.com. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Mike.